and welcome back to our Sunday School at Calvary Lutheran with Miss Jenny and myself, Miss Dakota. Um, and we have a great story for you guys today. All right, so our story picks up right where we left off in our last video where we talked about the Lord's Supper. So as soon as the Lord's Supper was done, Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. Right, and we all can do that. We can fold our hands, we know how to pray. And so he was praying to God because he knew the journey he had to take and he was asking for strength. He knew it was gonna be really painful and horrible. While he was praying to God, some soldiers came to arrest him and they came to arrest him because Judas, one of the 12 disciples, betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. So they arrested Jesus and took him before some church rulers. And these church rulers did not like Jesus. So they asked Jesus, are you the son of God? And of course, Jesus said, yes. That made them angry. And they shouted, you're lying, you're lying. And they spit on him and they hurt him. And then they took him before Pontius Pilate because Pontius Pilate was the ruler and the judge. And so they wanted him to be sentenced. So he went before Pontius Pilate and that's what's in our picture here. And they said, that, or they said that Jesus is a horrible person. Well, Pilate didn't believe that. He thought that Jesus hadn't done anything wrong and he didn't want to hurt Jesus. But they kept saying, well, Jesus is a troublemaker. He's a liar. Well, Pilate came up with an idea. Well, we have this horrible man named Barabbas in jail. He's done some horrible things, whereas Jesus hasn't done anything wrong. So he thought, well, I'll ask the people, who do you want me to free? Do you want me to free Barabbas or do you want me to free Jesus? And he thought that they would want to free Jesus because Barabbas was so horrible. But unfortunately, the people said, free Barabbas. And then he said, well, what do you want me to do with Jesus then? And they said, crucify him, crucify him. So the soldiers took Jesus back inside and they put a robe around Jesus and they put a crown of thorns on his head and they pushed it down and made his head bleed. And so then they um, pretended that Jesus was a king. They mocked him. They said horrible things to him. They whipped him, hurt him. And Jesus didn't do anything. He knew, knew that this was the path that he had to take. So he let these things happen. Finally, the soldiers took Jesus to a hill and they nailed him to the cross. So they nailed his hands and his feet to the cross and it hurt a lot. And while he was on the cross, he asked God to forgive all those people that were mean to him. Even though they were being horrible and saying lies, he still wanted them to be forgiven. And while he was on the cross, he saw his mother and his friends there and they were so sad and so Jesus felt for his mother and he asked his friend John one of the 12 disciples to take care of his mother he said that John would be her son and she would be his mother next Jesus said on the cross I am thirsty and so they took a sponge with vinegar and put it to Jesus lips then the sky, sky grew very, very dark and the earth shook and Jesus cried out with a loud voice, it is finished, and then he died. The soldiers wanted to make sure that Jesus was dead, so they took a spear and they pierced his side. And so that's why when we talk about Jesus later in our stories, we're gonna talk about the holes in his hands, his feet, and also his side. Then Joseph, uh, a friend of Jesus, took Jesus' body off the cross and they put him in a tomb and they rolled a big stone in front of it. And then Pilate put soldiers in front of the tomb to guard it. They didn't want anybody to take Jesus' body or to do anything to Jesus' body. And at that time, Jesus' friends and family, they were so sad that Jesus had died. But we know what happened, that Jesus did not stay, de stay dead. He rose on the third day because he had taken our sins away. And that's where we're gonna end our story because next time we're gonna talk about the resurrection.
All right, instead of answering some questions about our story, we kind of have a little fun games going on. So first, I'm gonna say a phrase, and then you guys, along with Miss Jenny, are gonna say, Jesus died for me. You ready? Up our, oh, on the cross upon a hill, Jesus died for me. With enemies and soldiers laughing, Jesus died for me. All according to God's plan, Jesus died for me to take away all my sins. Jesus died for me. So our next thing is, as I say each thing, I want you to show me a thumbs up if it's happy and a thumbs down if it's sad. So the soldiers are arresting Jesus. Mm, thumbs down. Some people lied and said Jesus was a troublemaker. Thumbs down, you're right. Soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. Thumbs down. All of those things were very sad things. Now listen to our Bible words and show me thumbs up, thumbs down. In, uh, in Jesus, we have the forgiveness of sins. Thumbs up to that. This is happy news. Today we heard how Jesus died on the cross for us, but Jesus did not stay dead. On Easter, he came back to life. Because Jesus died and rose again for us, God er, forgives our sins. Someday, we will have a beautiful home in heaven with him. That is happy news too. Thumbs up. All right, and our Bible verse for today comes from the book of Colossians, chapter one, verse 14. In whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Way back in the Garden of Eden, God promised to send a savior to bring us all back into his grace. And that was fulfilled on Good Friday so that someday we all would get to go to heaven, which is pretty amazing. Let's end with a prayer. Dear Jesus, it makes us sad to hear, what you, or hear about your suffering and death on the cross, but we are happy that you rose again on Easter. We are happy that you took away our sins Thank you for loving us. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much for joining us for the journey on Good Friday. We're going to come and talk to you next time about Jesus' resurrection, also known as Easter. Bye. Bye.